Hey everybody, Sam Kavaris in the Nimnik Chevrolet video sports update. So Mike Malarkey should get another year, plain and simple. I kept uh, going through this in my mind, you know, what do you do? I mean, guys have been fired after one year. They did it down in Miami when they were terrible. Uh, you know, it's, it's been done before. It's not very often, but, you know, it, it has happened. So you wonder what Shad Khan is going to think when the year is over. Certainly at 2-12 and 12 through 14 games, uh, they haven't had any kind of the results that they were expecting. Not the coaching staff, and certainly not the owner, and certainly not the general manager either. But Shad Khan did say to me a couple of weeks ago that one thing he's learned in the year that he's owned the team is that teams are based in the NFL on personality. And when you have kind of even-keeled personalities like Gene Smith and like Mike Malarkey and a lot of the coaches, that uh, they haven't gotten the results that they want. Malarkey knew all along that this was going to be an uphill battle. He said early on, look, we're going to take our lumps. He knew that. What he didn't expect is his two best players, Daryl Smith and Maurice Jones-Drew, virtually not to play all year long. What he didn't expect was Blaine Gabbert to not continue to make that progression that he was showing in the preseason and in training camp and in the offseason and to, he, to be a better quarterback basically in games than he was. What he didn't expect was the guy that he spent all the money on in the offense, LaRon Robinson, to have four concussions and be out for half the year and mildly ineffective. What he didn't expect was Justin Blackman to not progress as quickly, although he certainly has made progress here recently. And, you know, when you add up all those things that you're counting on your fourth string or fifth string tailback, a great guy and a very good player who's maybe proven that he needs to be better than needs to be used better than that in Montel Owens. But when you're counting on Kevin Elliott, that guy is the, the prime example of the season. Literally the 53rd guy to make the roster for the Jaguars. The last guy to make. Free agent wide receiver out of Florida AM. Halfway through the season, he's a starter. I mean, he's supposed to be a developmental guy, a guy they're working on, a guy that is going to play special teams, a guy that's going to learn his craft at the highest level. He's a starter. So, yeah, he's going to flash and make three nice plays a game, and then he's going to drop four balls. When you're counting on him to be a starter because you have to, because other guys are hurt, and to the point where 13 weeks into the season, you cut him. He's a starter. You cut him because you've got guys who can play at that level who are just basically coming off the street. That's kind of in a microcosm what the, what the season is like. They miss Clint Sessions and his fiery nature. They miss Evan Britton, who's still around, but, man, what happened to him? I mean, I thought Evan was going to stay starter as a right tackle forever, but they moved him to left guard and he hadn't been able to handle that, replaced by a rookie free agent that they brought in off the practice squad. So, you know, they miss guys like that who have that fiery personality who keep people on edge occasionally. You need that in the NFL. And when you look at the Jaguar teams that have been successful in the past, they had those guys. They had some guys that you could say, you know, if I was his age and his size, I still wouldn't want to fight him. You want to fight Leon Searcy? No, you do not. You want to fight uh, Clyde Simmons? No. You don't want any part of the guys like that. So... Um, we'll see what happens, but I, I think Malarkey and his staff deserve another year based on what's happened. Um, Shotcon will make some changes where they come, whether it's Gene Smith and some personnel evaluators or it is the coaching staff. But Khan is going to take control of the team, that's for sure, and it will happen quickly as soon as the season ends a week from Sunday. I'm Sam Kavaris, and that's the Nimnik Chevrolet video sports update.